Hello, my name is Brayden Oski. And I'm Jason Hobbs. And I'm Austin Rouse, and you're watching The Inner Gamer On. And today we're talking about Hogwarts Legacy State of Play. This is a giant game. Is it too much, though? Let's find out right here, right now. Ooh, abracadabra. Abracadabra. And as always, if you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, bang that bell, because it really helps out, and we appreciate it. Thank you. It is time for our topic of the show. This week, we're going to be talking about Hogwarts Legacy recently got announced, or not announced, <coughs> revealed with their state of play with PlayStation, where they had a 15-minute state of play walkthrough showcasing all the gameplay with actual gameplay yep. of this game with a release date of it coming out this holiday, 2023, and 2022. Real soon. Sorry, 2022. Um, it is real soon. It's uh, very exciting that this is coming out and we've seen the content for it. They've showcased a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff where like it's a full blown RPG. You're at Hogwarts school. It happens before any of the JK Rowling books happen. Mm -hmm. uh, you get sorted in a house. You go to classes. You do potions class. You do the charms classes that whatever you explore throughout the entire place. There's like hidden secrets and stuff all throughout Hogwarts Castle. You can like meet new people there and all this stuff. And that's all that happens at Hogwarts. And there's a whole nother piece outside of it. But looking at that piece specifically, I'm curious to know, like, what were y'all's first impressions when you watch this? I mean, we've seen some gameplay videos, like brief ones. We've seen like a like a trailer reveal and stuff like that. But as far as just like what we've seen in this video, like, how do you feel about this game? Awesome. I think it might actually be good. Nice. I just, because me and Lizette watched all the Harry Potter movies uh, in the fall. And so we're coming off of that. that and beautiful. I think, I mean, from what I can see, it seems legit. Like, apparently you can travel throughout all of Hogwarts. So stuff that I, I guess you've heard of in the books is actually going to come to life now. Mm -hmm. While some of the things from the movies will, act, will be here as well and look probably very similar, but now you get to go through the whole thing and, yeah. and live it yourself, you know? Like, right. That's awesome. I, like, it doesn't seem cheesy, but we can get into other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Jason, yeah. what do you think? Uh, visually, it is outstanding, and, and I agree with Austin. You get to explore Hogwarts to its fullest. Um, I think the one part I'm not going to enjoy as much is going to classes and stuff. I feel like that's just going to be probably not the dark arcs fighting against the dark arts, which they're doing right now. That's probably going to be more of the combat stuff, but everything else, I feel like it's going to turn into a uh, matching the buttons to create a potion or something like that along those lines. Cause you can't really do much with, you know, classwork stuff in video games or a prime example. Bully was similar to that, but they actually had um, like when you went to the grammar class, you had to actually, figure out crossword puzzles and stuff like that, which was pretty fun and entertaining, something different, but I don't know how they can switch it up for the classes if it's not just going to be button smashing. But Hogwarts in general, finding all the hidey holes and stuff like that and unlocking puzzles, I find that very fun and interesting. I'm excited for that. It's just like, you know, walking through the school and you see something that's kind of out of place and you're able to solve a puzzle to get inside that room, that's going to be super fun. I like all the NPCs just randomly just doing shit, just involved in the world. It it makes me feel like I'm going to get super immersed into this world, oh, yeah. and I'm excited about that. So what if this Ooh. is how they plan to do it? You go out in the world, and you get XP, and you get skill points, right? Okay. But you only can spend the skill points in the classroom. So you go to the classroom, you want to level up whatever. Yeah. And it allows you to unlock certain things. That's kind of what I was uh, thinking. Because you can't, yeah. you're not going to sit there in class. Yeah. Like you're not, like, it's just going to be like a quick, like, oh, look, montage. And I that's, learned something. that's another yeah. thing I'm curious about. With well, the classroom stuff, is, is it going to be timed? Is this, is this event, since you're in a class, as a, in a school setting, is all this going to be timed? So like at a certain time, I need to fucking run across Hogwarts to get to goddamn potions with fucking Slither with fuck fuck and do something. <laughs> And then have to run all the way across and only have a limited amount of time to actually explore. She was you know my favorite I mean? teacher. Yeah, I know. Same. 
Are you saying like, you know, you actually have like a schedule? I have an actual day, schedule throughout, throughout the day. Yeah. I feel like that. I hope it's not like that. And I hope it's just kind of goes along with the story with the classes. I have a feeling it's more that than what I'm picturing. Yeah, I don't think it'll. I mean, that's just not fun. Uh-huh. I think there are games that actually do that kind of thing. Bully did that. Okay. Well, I was going to say, I, I was going to, yeah. Austin, like, what was Fire Emblem Three Houses like? Because I know they had the class component to it, didn't they? Yes. I can't remember what they did there, but I know there was like certain times. So it actually had like, there was a calendar that they talked about early on Mm -hmm. and you could look at the calendar and certain days, certain things would happen. So it fell on a certain day. You can go, you know, talk to somebody or do something or some event would be happening. And so that might be something like that. Okay. But I would assume like, just like most games, it is a certain time of day and it's not going to change and you can go explore or you can go and go to class if you want to. Okay. But like maybe you can only do that during the day. During the day. When classes are going on at night, if you want to go explore, you can go explore. Right. Thing. So there might be some kind of, there might not be time, uh, night and day cycles, but maybe like mm-hmm. in, um, what was I playing? Uh, well, in, in Tunic, like when you go to a shrine to save and rehill and get all your stuff back, like it, it actually goes to nighttime and then it there's like a black screen. And then when it comes back, it goes from night to day, but it's really fast. Mm-hmm. So everything takes place during the day. So it might be something like that. Okay. Well, beyond like the class stuff, how do y'all feel about the combat? It's. It's interesting that, I mean, I think it looks, visually, it looks really, really good. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a lot of particle effects and things that are going on. What I'm concerned about is it's very, like, I feel like your character is, like, very stiff in most of the ways where he's, like, I mean, he's doing these movements where he's, like, you know, throwing his hands out and stuff like that. But I'm I'm curious to know, like, what the controls actually are. Because it looks like he's using different spells at different times. Mm-hmm. Is it, like, a Avengers where you just, like, keep mashing the button to, like, build up combos that, like make stuff happen over time or are you like actually pressing different buttons to send out different spells and then based on those different combos you can do different moves and stuff like that it looks like there's like even a dash maneuver you can do i'm just curious to know like what you're clicking and pressing to make this stuff happen is it more button mashy or is it more like methodical like combat situations i feel like it's more methodical because you can see them use a different you see them use different spells and then you can also see them like pull in people and yeah and do that a takedown and smash it around. I, I'm really digging the combat. I, and uh, you can parry other spells, which is that will be fucking badass to do because that's what I was worried about how you can counter them. And you see, he just countered that one. And I think there's going to have to be like some kind of stamina or like magic that gets depleted over time. Yeah, probably. Um, and I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to button map which spells go where. Mm-hmm. Like you have to be able to do that. And I hope there's like a like one button that deflects spells and it could be like Spider-Man where it's like, Oh, this guy's about to do it. mm -hmm. So I need like, I need to click it now and maybe there'll be, um, if you do it at the right time, you get that like extra bonus damage or maybe like kills you or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it looks good. Like I like it. The only thing I'm concerned about is that he's always going to be yelling out spells. (laughs) I feel like that's annoying. Yeah. (laughs) And there's also a sneak mechanic. You can sneak up behind people. Yeah. Right. That's badass. So go in guns blazing or wands blazing or wands yeah, blazing. You can choose. Yeah. Um, I mean I, I I do think this game looks really, really good. There's just there's a lot to it that um I am concerned that once yes. you get into the game it's gonna be like there's just too much stuff and like when you actually get to it it's not gonna be as good mm-hmm. like when you like in practice. But I could also be very much mistaken. I mean, like there's I mean, visually it looks amazing. There's, I mean, you have a full character creator in here, like all the different classes, like the exploring of Hogwarts, I think seems really, really cool. The, the combat, you know, I mentioned that it, it seems a little stiff and sometimes, but I mean, I think just the different variations here are really, really neat. Um, and just looks like a lot of fun to play. Yeah. But then there's even like exploring <coughs> beyond Hogwarts when I mean, there's there, they talked about going to Hogsmeade where you can like meet different merchants and stuff like that to like level up your character and like buy new gear and stuff like that over there. But then even beyond that, you can travel out to other areas of the world 
and like do quests and things of that nature. So I'm curious to know like just how freaking big this game is. It We're looks, it. It looks I mean, huge. Yeah. So there's one video where you're riding a broomstick and you're flying around in like an open space. Like how big is this area? Like is it an open area? Is it an open world? Like what are we going to encounter? It looks open world. Yeah. Yeah, and well, I feel like there's a lot of stuff in this game. You have you have animals you can collect. You have potions that you have to find. You have to be able to learn different uh, magic stuff, and you have other companions with their side missions that dives into their side of the story of what's happening. I And along with the open world aspect, I feel like there's a lot of stuff happening in this game, and I feel like it's going to be a little overwhelming in my eyes. Maybe. What do you think, Austin? Just maybe. Uh, I, I think I might actually really like this. Yeah. I mm. think my girlfriend's actually going to play it. Oh, yeah. And that's I mean, another issue. It's not co op. Yeah. They missed the golden yeah. opportunity without it being co op. Well, hopefully they have ideas for that later. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Add that in like Returnal. It is so weird to me. Like, I feel like there's a time where, I mean, there were certain games that we want to co op in, but now it's like kind of. You kind of want every game to be co-op in a way. It's like right. things like God of War and stuff. Like I don't think it makes sense to be co-op. But like a game like this definitely feels like it. It should be co-op. Yeah. Eternal felt like it should be co-op. Like this, this feels like a co-op component to it would really like help a lot. Because um, it's just like I mean, Harry Potter. You have your three people: Harry, Hermione, and Ron, and stuff like that. They run around together. And it'd be, it could be the same kind of deal where you like work together to help each other and do stuff in the in the world. Like, yeah, I think that could be really interesting. Yeah. So hopefully that's like an add on. I'll be curious to know what the the post launch like thing looks like if they're if they're gonna like release this and just like be done, or if they're gonna have like a DLC component and have add ons and stuff like that. That'd be great. I, I don't like that they every game like is like oh what's their post game content look like, but. I feel like this game could be re- be benefited for it. Yeah, definitely agree. Man, Are you they building a, a house? Yeah, you fuck? build a house. You build your own like mini. That's where you keep all your animals at in that greenhouse. Oh, I see. You go inside of it. You design it however you feel. The fuck? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of shit in this game, so man. So much just, shit in this game. Oh, dragon. Oof. <clears throat> yeah, it's like is... Hogsmeade Station is pretty sick. And you go to the vaults. Uh, yeah, where they keep all the gold and stuff. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. Go into uh, dungeons down there, and I'm like, dude, that's gonna be sweet. Yeah, <clears throat> so it looks very impressive, and it doesn't seem like it's gonna suck. But yeah, yeah no, it might. visually the game looks phenomenal. Oh yeah, acting doesn't look too bad either. Yeah, hopefully no. it's a good storyline. Um, that's the only way with a big open world like this, and plus there's a good and evil side to the story as well. So you can either go all out killing people, well not killing people but being bad yeah and or be good yeah so so i'm trying to think so uh how was the story of mad max oh it was great it was was phenomenal it It felt like it felt like mad max and that's what i'm excited about this one because right now it feels like harry potter it feels like it's going to be a harry potter story you know well Hogwarts story, I guess. Yeah, Harry yeah. Potter. <laughs> yeah, but, I know uh, what you mean. Yeah, it's it. Avalanche did a phenomenal job on Mad Max. Um, I'm, I heard that they're making a sequel too, and I hope that's true. Yeah, and because that game was phenomenal, the storyline was great, and it just felt like it, it felt like a movie that I was playing. Yeah, because I mean, I, I know that like technically speaking, like looking at their their big flagship titles, like Mad Max was a big one. They worked a lot on Rage Two, and then like Just Cause is their their big thing mm-hmm. like just cause doesn't have like a great story but like technically speaking the game is always like super super impressive with like the physics mechanics yeah. and how you like navigate the world and just the open world generally is really cool so like i feel like the sandbox component to this game is going to be like top notch and i mean they've already shown with all the freaking visuals it's just like crazy but i'm curious to know if like how this story is going to be but they've they've captured the essence of what Harry Potter is so so well. I mean, like this looks like a freaking Harry Potter game brought to life, like the best looking Harry Potter game brought to life. Yeah, yeah. Because we've had Harry Potter games in the past, but they've all been shit. So they hit the nail on the head with this one. Like first PC game special. I ever played was a Harry Potter game. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. Well, it's definitely yeah. not D and D Dark Alliance. <laughs> oh God. Right. 
I was gonna buy that game too. God, so glad you <laughs> we stopped you. We stopped me. You were saved. God. Saved by the inner gamer. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Um, but yeah, Hogwarts Legacy. It's uh, coming out. It's looking cool. I mean, I have some reservations, but I'm not too too concerned. I feel like that. I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be really Agreed. fun. Um, yeah. And it's gonna definitely deliver. So looking forward to hearing more. Uh, from this game down the pipeline, I want to see some of the more of the menus and stuff like that and how that all works. And um, yeah, just anxious to play it. Get my hands on it this holiday season. I know. I'm yep, just going to like take two weeks game off of and year? just like not touch anything. 